So that guy was saying, I'm about to wrap up my work. So building up my success as an entrepreneur has made me understand that in life, I just have to try different things to get me into what I want to do with my life. So I want to do things that was like camera work, try to walk with the camera in my hands and just try to shoot film and do different things to make money. Um, like I said, I was attending a school in Brooklyn that really didn't help me out what I wanted to do. I was kind of confused. I was feeling depressed. I went into a deep depression after that and nobody didn't want to help me. And uh, I was asking for help and nobody didn't want to help me out. And going through that made me realize that my success was going down the drain. Um, I didn't have no money to try to build my confidence. I ain't had nothing to try to make me successful in life. But all I had was the Lord Jesus Christ. It was God. And I got saved on a basketball court in Barrage because I wanted to be, I didn't want, I didn't want to go on no game. I ain't want to do that. I want to be different in life and I want to follow the right crowd and not the wrong road and stuff. So decide to lead myself into the own understanding path of righteousness. So what I did was I joined a, a religious um, crew called Jesus Jesus Christ Crew. Um, it's a group that, of young people that got saved and got saved on the best court and I turned Christian after that. I turned Christian for the right reasons. And um, it was never an attention of doing the wrong things. It was attention of doing the right things in my life to try to build up my success. My success was about understanding the truth and understanding the reason why you in building up the confidence of life and love and happiness in your life. I know that when I, when I do things in when I do things in great, greatness and goodness of life, I try to understand that when I build confidence, I understand that the confidence of life is about learning how to love. And that was what the confidence was. I turned Christian at 13, not 14, got saved in the court. My first um, job that I used to work for was uh, I was a janitor at the nursing home. And I was cleaning off all, all people's butts for a living and I said I didn't want to do that and I said I want to do something else and wasn't wasn't making money wasn't really making money doing that wasn't really making money it was more like a structure of building lives and trying to make something of myself and going into my depression I the, the only person that I shared a story with was Tania um Going through that depression, it was really relationship wise. I wasn't really finding love in the right places. The girls that I used to date, they was using me for sex and not for for the prayer of it. Um it was like it was like more like when you pray for something, you ask God for something, he'll grant it to you. And Tania didn't understand. She didn't understand what I felt, how I felt about certain things she didn't understand it um when i when i when i was in the school she pulled me out of class and i want to share this with my fans she pulled me out of class because she felt that she didn't know what was going on she didn't know the truth and i was never into no i was never into homosexuality i was never into uh woman and woman and man and man relationship I was more like my my diagnosis was like it was a it was a genetic condition that affected boys, and it really it really really I didn't like I was I had a hard time adjusting to certain things, and when she put me in class, she said that she said she was married with five children, and she said that how she um she couldn't marry me and she couldn't um. We couldn't, you know, she couldn't marry me. And I said to her, that was not what the intention was. The intention was for you to understand me. But it was not the intention was not to 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 to, to do things that I was not supposed to do. She was I was younger at the time, she was older than me. About 
about a couple of years older than me, you know? And um you try to you try to make a difference of of certain things in life that you could change and that you could build success and confidence in. And the confidence is like you you understand the word trust and uh, and forgiveness is about loving yourself and having the ability to try different things. But the different things comes down to place where you have the ability to make things right. And uh, How to Be a Successful Entrepreneur, that's my book that I'm writing. I'm actually, I'm an author of a book that I'm, put, I'm producing out next year. And it's a sharing about how I started and how I gained experience and how I learned how to, how to be an entrepreneur, how to make different changes in my life. And the certain things that I did was co connecting with other people and connecting with other re other relationships. I dealt with issues where my father didn't understand. My mother was a survivor. My mother survived of domestic violence. I will survive of domestic violence. It was like my mom's wanted to get out, you know, because I felt like. When you want to get out of something, you get out of, of life journeys and life changes. And your, change, your life change when you meet somebody. And when you meet somebody, it's like relationship-wise, you go through a pattern. You go through a pattern and principle of who you are as a Christian person. And you go through certain things in life that you could break down. And it's like you break down certain things. It's like you try to be better. And you try to have the ability to fight for what you love and how you love it. I can tell you, when I do certain things in life, it's about fighting for what you love. And what you love is about understanding what you care about. And the truth about caring is about learning the ability to give, 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 give a person your all. Give a person your understanding and attention. Hold on one second. Let me try to walk down here. Cause I gotta catch a 36 down the block right there. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand the caring of it and understand the ability of trying things. And the, the trying things is the hardest part. But when you're adjusting to certain situations, you learn that structure is one of them and believe in what you're fighting for the next one. When you fight for certain things in life is about structures, about creating boundaries and growth. And that's what my book is about, creating boundaries and growth. Sometimes your growth and your boundaries doesn't make mingling because you allow yourself to understand the purpose of how you build certain success. Okay. How many of you think that success is a building pro progress? I know a lot of you do. Success is a building progress because you learn about the basic of love, affection, and forgiveness. That's the three things you must learn. And my, and my three things about love and forgiveness is that when you love somebody, you forgive the purpose of why you love them and how you love them. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what I, I'm going to show you with, I'm going to share with you where culture took place in my life. Culture took place in my life where I started out as a teen. I started out successful. I gained collateral. I saw success in a life that I could be able to change a structure where I could be able to build up a character. And what my character was is for me to understand the blessing of it and how to overcome the character. How I, how I think about certain things that characteristics could change and how the ability to have the encouragement factor of life. But the life that you have expected to be it's about understanding the purpose of what job you're doing and how you do the job. You know, if I if I if I come to a position where I have to do a job as a camera camera person, I gotta come here prepared to do the job. But at the end of the day, it's what I do for a living, and this is how I get money. It's how I build collateral. It's how I build income. But the income of it is a factor of loving, and a factor of ability is a factor of understanding. So right now, we are on West 10th and Surf Avenue. I'm about to walk down to Kesha 36. And we're gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you this. Structure is about building relationships. 
Build a relationship is about key of re re relying on yourself and relying on, you don't need to stop relying on other people and start relying on yourself to get to gain more collateral. So that's my message to you. All right. I'm wrapping up the day, I'm wrapping up my shift, get back on reality. I'm about to get back to work. Let's make the money. I'm about to make me some bread that I, I can really, I can really make some bread right here. <laughs> you feel me? I'm gonna make some bread. So let me go make my money, all right? All right. <laughs> all right, guys, later. Uh-huh.